Hi, it's Gail with Gail's Southern Living. So I wanted to do an episode of my Gail's Tales. I haven't done that in a while. I was just sitting here drinking my homemade iced coffee that I made. And I had my interview for the volunteer position. I had that today. And I will be starting the volunteering next week. And it's like a full interviewing process, like a normal job. So, you know, I had to get through the interview today. So that's done. Thank God. Okay, so so for today's uh, Gail's Tales, I wanted to do an episode about my sister and maybe talk about a memory about my sister. I better go in order. Or I'm going to forget what I said and what I didn't say. So my family did not grow up wealthy. Um, so my older sister Gretchen and I, we actually slept in the same bed in the same room for years until she left home. Um, and we used to give each other back rubs at night and uh, we would go every other night. One night would be her night, one night would be my night. And so we used to do that. Uh, we did have our fights off and on, of course. Uh, she was actually more outgoing than me. I was more shy and even more shy back then. So we were total opposites, but we got along really well. I even lived with her after I left home for a little while. And um, she used to take me grocery shopping before I had my driver's license. Uh, I was basically working and riding the bus around, and she she would take me places. So that was really cool of her to do. That was awesome. Um, she loved decorating her house. And she did come visit me when I lived in Rhode Island. And she brought her son with her, my nephew. And we took her to the beach. And we had a really good time. I wrote down a few things that I wanted to say. Uh, we, were, we were like best friends for years. Even though we were sisters, uh, most people thought we were just best friends. And uh, she was a good big sister. And she was always helpful and loving. And uh, yeah. She loved her spices. Uh, she used to keep her spices in alphabetical order, different sizes of bottles together. I mean, it was just the neatest thing. You could literally look and see every single spice she had. Now, mine is more like a digging process. And you have to have the counter below to put things down as you're looking. It's it's really like, like a mess. Compared to hers, she would put me to shame on organizing her seasoning. Um... I remember when we were at home uh, with my parents and we were taking out trash one day and uh, I guess we must have had two bags of trash. Uh, she went out ahead of me and was taking her bag and I was behind grabbing my bag and uh, I heard her yell really loud and it scared me and I was thinking whoa, what happened? Did someone hurt her? Did she get bit by a snake? Uh, what? Sorry, something just fell and scared me, right? I was saying that. Something fell out of the window. All right. So, uh, anyway, she was really scared and I didn't know what was going on. So I ran to her and she said, I, it feels like something bit me. And, um, so I ran in, I got my parents, my parents came out. So what we discovered is that she was bouncing the garbage bag against her leg and a fishbone went through and into her leg. So my parents had to take her to the hospital to have it removed. And she had to get a tetanus shot. And I remember, uh, you know, I was taking care of the kids at home because I was the second oldest. So, um, yeah, I'm looking to see if I set everything else out. Yeah, I think I set everything there. So... We basically were really, really close when I lived in Texas all the way up to when I moved to Rhode Island. And then um, she did come visit me there. And I did come back and visit Texas while I was in Rhode Island. And then uh, at some point, she moved to Dallas and we kind of grew apart a little bit. Uh, but we would still talk on the phone occasionally. And uh, my sister was actually uh, in living in Colorado um, and, uh, basically the story is that, um, she was walking down the street and, uh, a lady, they said she was going about 30 miles per hour, um, 
you know, and, and she hit her and it was an accident. Uh, there was, it was ruled as no fault to the driver. Uh, my sister was hit on the right side and it broke her leg and it shattered her pelvis. Also did some damage to her spleen. Uh, and the car hit her and then she fell backwards onto her head and that's where she got an injury. And so they went in to her head right here. They had shaved this part of her hair. They went into her head right here and they were checking for damage to the brain. And uh, they found a brain stem injury, which meant that basically she was not technically still with us. The machine, the incubation tube had a breathing tube in it and that was helping her to live. So they, once we got there, they wanted to take it out. And of course, uh, she basically passed away within four or five hours of the time of taking that tube out. And uh, anyway, so so basically when, when she fell down, she probably at that point when she fell back, she was technically gone. And, um, you know, uh, my sister had a Bible and a cross and I had not talked to her in a while. So uh, we are believing, of course, that uh, she is in heaven with her grandparents and her father and aunts and uncles who have passed away. And uh, I've been having, you know, a little bit of trouble dealing with it because we were very close at one time, but not recently. And uh, so that's why I went and got the volunteer application. I just wanted to do something for somebody else that needs help. And um, that's what I, I want to use that feeling that I have to help someone else. And uh, so I signed up to be a volunteer. I had my interview today and I did get the position and uh, I will be volunteering three days a week and it'll be about 11 or 12 hours approximately and uh, that's it I'll be doing like office work and maybe even a little help with laundry maybe some help cleaning maybe some uh, some uh, almost like sales networking type of work going into businesses and talking about what the company does and the services they provide um, so anyway multiple I could be doing pretty much anything we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll start next week uh, there is a training process uh, because of the particular services that they provide um, so I'll be starting the training process next week and so uh, that's really awesome so uh, just be volunteering my time and seeing who I can help along the way and I think it'll make me feel good just to help someone else and uh, that's it that's all I wanted to say so there's a little uh, introduction to my sister and what happened to her and about my new volunteer position that I'm getting and I hope you guys have a great day be blessed do something kind guys bye everybody